Hello friends, in this video I will build on my first retaining wall video, creating an advanced curved and sloped wall. On my screen I have a section of the finished product, and yes I agree, my drawing isn't the best. The thickness will be fixed throughout the wall, variant thickness is my next video. So the main fo focus here will be to create a slope for the wall using Dynamo. Let's delete the existing wall and open up an adaptive family template. And inside this family, I will open up Dynamo. I will be building on a previous Dynamo script that is called Import Excel Coordinates. And the link to that video is in the description. So this script import coordinates for the top curve on our retaining wall from a specified Excel uh, sheet. Make sure to select the Excel document. Please change the sheet name. This is the name on the sheet inside of the Excel document. So just delete those nodes and hit run. The Excel sheet will pop up. And here you can see the coordinates represented with points in Dynamo. Now over to the fun part. We will build on this script. So I will first create a curve from the points with polycurve by points node. Then I will copy the curve in and only in the set direction using Geometry Translate node. To decide the distance, a simple number node will suffice. So we just connect those, we add the number node. So I need to convert it to a negative value. I will then add a code block with an input value A, which is the number, multiply that with minus one and string it up with the translate node in the set translation input. We then hit a run and the curve has been copied eight meters in the negative set direction. Now I want to create points on the curve and find the vector to all the points that are perpendicular to the curve as I'm drawing up with the pink arrows here. With the vectors and the distance, a new curve will be created that will help us to form the slope on the wall. Let's move on and add two nodes, curve norm at parameter and curve point parameter. Both have the parameter input, which we will look into right now. So this process isn't very intuitive when it comes to selecting the appropriate node for the parameter input for the two nodes. Let's add a code block and input uh, 0 dot dot 1. This specifies the entire curve from start 0 to end 1 will be used. If we only want to use the first half of the curve, replace 1 with 0 0.5, then append dot dot hashtag 100 where 100 represents the number of points to be generated along the curve from 0 to 1. Run the script to create points on the curve. Next, we connect the same node to the curve normal at parameter. This node generates vectors that are normal or perpendicular to the curve at the specified parameters or the point, which in this case corresponds to the points created a few seconds ago, since we use the same code block with the same specified parameters. The next step is to translate the points by a specified distance in the direction of the vectors created. The distance, as shown earlier in this tutorial, determines the slope steepness. The distance will be based on the height that I previously set to 8 meters, divided by a predetermined number. So this slope input might be made more complex with for example a percentage or a degree input, but for now this will do. We add another code block, we add the number 1 and 5 that represent the wall's slope. And we then add a divide node, we divide the total height with the 5 and connect all the nodes together and we hit, finally, hit RAM and voila. We have now the points needed to create the curve for the base of our retaining wall. The script is almost complete. The final step is to connect it to the export to Revit nodes so that the curve created in the Dynamo environment can be exported to Revit. And we hit run again. Open up the 3D view inside the adaptive family environment. And there we have it, our two splines. Let's hide all our reference points, making our view a little cleaner. And we close down the Dynamo script as well to remove all the blue points.
And yeah, let's uh, close it down. And there you go. Very clean. We mark uh, the two splines and hit create form. A surface is made between the two splines. This surface will work as a dummy element for the wall tool. We load it into the main project. As of now, we don't have, uh, we don't know where to place it, so we just place it out and adjust it later. I will be using a Dynamo script, and I will place out the reference objects, which will help me place out our uh, surface created in the adaptive family environment. So I do have a video on this Dynamo script. I will link it in the description. So we select the correct Excel sheet. Then we select the family that will be placed at the placement points. This script extracts the first and last point in the Excel document. So the starting point and the ending point for the retaining wall will be selected and used. When hit run, I just close and back to Revit. And as you can see, our reference family has been placed out. We'll just uh, move the surface uh, manually. And yeah, that seems to fit pretty well. Uh, close, uh, yeah, let's move into the set direction and uh, to the left view and move it down to the reference object. Now, with the surface in place, we are actually going to use the wall command. Many might not know this, but if you use the pick face in the draw section, I can select any face and the wall will be created on that face. Does not matter how peculiar the sign might be. And there you go, our beautiful wall with a slope has been created. Next, I will use our topo solid to just cut our wall so it fit to the terrain perfectly. Let's have a closer look at our retaining wall. Let's uh, isolate the item and just turn it around. Yeah, and you can see the slope perfectly created with the Dynamo script. And well, that concludes this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe for more fun videos. I'll see you later.